Uh, service is um, giving of yourself for um, someone else's benefit. Making an effort to do something for somebody when you actually know what you're talking about. I mean, it could be in the form of like organized things, like going and doing stuff in the church or whatever, or it can just be like hanging out with someone on the hall. No matter, you know, if they're rich or poor, you're serving them with all your heart. Service could be basically anything that is a help to someone else. Um, being available to help others. It's showing the love of Christ through our actions. I see Christianity as living in a kingdom, and so as Christians our whole lives we're enrolled in service, and so with our life that's what it should be about, our service for the kingdom. Yeah. Um, helping people. Service is a lifestyle of gratitude and um, actions that you do to please the Lord with your life and show His love to others. Uh, the giving of oneself to to a better good, to, to something higher. Not anything to bring recognition to yourself. Like it was some kind of crime. Putting other people before yourself. So you're living with the mindset of not being totally completely self-centered and selfish. Um, I think service is just an act that you do in order to help others. Um, it's a time that you're caring about others more than yourself. It's basically just like living your life as kind of an outpouring for God. Look me in the eye and tell me honestly Whatever lies behind your broken heart is too complex for me Come and talk to me If we're only a while No. <laughs> I am no, I haven't <clears throat> really noticed that. I can't say that I specifically have seen uh, uh, identifiable grace students, you know, serving, the, the serving this community. Like I heard about the day of caring, and I heard that um, they had the most volunteers that they've ever had turned out, and a lot of that, he said, was comprised of grace students, which I think is really cool. I'm not aware if they do. I mean, I'm sure they do things, but I just never hear about things they do or see them doing anything. I think one way to reach out might be more of a focus with the elderly at Grace Village. I'm over there about every day. And I know those people have interesting in the past. Yeah, I think there's a lot of nursing homes in Sarah that have people just go in to visit. It helps a lot or take them out for a walk, or take them outside, because you don't ever get to do that. Maybe it's up to us to contact Grace and say, hey, my mom just moved in, she doesn't know anybody, and she would mind me if someone visit her, that sort of thing. Grace students just need to turn right on Worcester Road and go to Fairlane Mobile Home Park to see that. So there are low-income families here, and then it appears that, you know, in this part of the lake to be all kind of affluent and all that. Together, food banks are really low. Um, that's some products that we've been working on. It's just like, how do you get a community to know about like the needs of places like that and what they offer? So, trying to be friendly. Yeah, I mean, uh, Grace students are friendly, but I mean, you have to try to, to make people feel even more welcome to the area. You know, this is you know we're proud of this area. It's it's beautiful here. There's there's a special feeling here and you know, helping in that way. God is reaching out for you.